correspondent Jennifer Griffin is in New York, where Hillary Clinton said ISIS is using Donald Trump's words to recruit terrorists. But we begin with senior national correspondent John Roberts with more on how Trump took credit for predicting terror attacks on U.S. soil. Good evening, John. Brent, good evening to you. You know, Donald Trump talked at length today about the urgent need to take drastic steps to combat terrorism in the United States, repeating his call from months ago to include profiling as a part of that arsenal. And he told a huge crowd here in the battleground state of Florida today that he is the candidate best equipped to keep the United States safe. The crowd in the arena outside Fort Myers was standing room only. The message from Donald Trump, uncompromising. We cannot let this evil continue. We will defeat radical Islamic terrorism, just as we have defeated every threat we have faced in every age before. Trump pledged that under his administration, there would be no quarter for terrorists who threaten the United States. And he lashed out at Hillary Clinton for suggesting this morning that his rhetoric amounts to treason. The kinds of rhetoric and language that Mr. Trump has used is giving aid and comfort to our adversaries. Her weakness, her ineffectiveness, caused the problem and now she wants to be president? I don't think so. Our latest Fox News poll shows neither candidate has a clear advantage on who voters trust to fight terrorism. But Trump is hoping to work to his advantage. News today that the Obama administration sees the war against ISIS as a battle to control the narrative and mistakenly awarded citizenship to 858 individuals slated for deportation. These are people that were supposed to be deported and they were given full citizenship. They made a mistake. As Trump continues to close the gap with Hillary Clinton, a new New York Times Siena poll shows the race a dead heat in Florida. Clinton supporters are becoming more shrill in their criticism. At last night's Emmy Awards, the Hollywood elite ripped Trump up one side and down the other. He's a complete dangerous monster and any moment that I have to call Trump out for being uh, an inheritor to Hitler, I will. Things we think of pale in comparison to that madman threatening Hillary Clinton, not once, but twice. Who is to blame for Donald Trump? That guy. <laughs> Mark Burnett. And terrorism will be front and center again tonight when Donald Trump meets with Egyptian President al-Sisi in New York City. Donald Trump has talked in glowing terms in the past about al-Sisi and says if he becomes president, he will deepen ties between the United States and Egypt, particularly in the effort to combat and defeat radical Islamic terrorism. Brett? John, thank you.